These are the Even Reality G1, a new pair of smart glasses designed for everyday wear and built to compete with the giant of the industry, the Ray-Ban Meta Glasses. Now both are aiming to look like regular glasses while packing in smart features, but getting to the smart part in a different way. The Meta Glasses are more socially focused, coming from, well, a social media company. Meanwhile, the Even G1 focuses more on comfort and design as the vision was in fact to creating something extremely lightweight for all day use. And of course, actual tech. Because yeah, in this thing over here, there are actually two stereoscopic micro OLED displays splashing a screen in front of me. I'm reading a script and probably you can't even tell. That's the magic of it. Hey there you here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. Let's explore together the Even G1. As this is how you compete, but which one is the right way? Well, let's get into it. I won't bore you too much uh, with the unboxing, as everything here is pretty straightforward. The glasses come already in the case that doubles down as charger as well. Everything feels extra premium over here. And of course, under the little top, we can find the Even G1. Finally, finally, someone has figured out that to compete with Meta, you need to look stylish as well. This look cool. By the way, there are two different versions available. The more squarish one, if you feel more formal, and this roundy stylish version that, of course, I have to choose myself. These are, by the way, it's completely comparable to a regular pair of glasses. And the cool thing is that they were able to balance everything very well on the back to avoid pressure on the nose as it was the focus from the very beginning. You can have all the features that you want but if they're not usable all day it really won't matter. The mount here is in magnesium and the rakes in flexible titanium in stark contrast with the plastic on the Ray-Ban glasses. By the way just to make it clear these are glasses so if you need you can order them also with a prescription something very important consider that they have two screens in the lenses but because I didn't need it I actually went for the sunglasses glasses clip on that makes them even more retro and interesting to me. All right, so what are these? These are smart glasses, pretty much regular glasses to wear every day with a little perk, like superpowers. Now the Ray-Ban smart glasses follow a similar design to the regular Wayfarer. And because they're made from Meta, they have a strong focus on actual social interaction. They have a camera to take photos and also portrait videos that are perfect for Instagram, by the way. I wonder why. And they also come with two small built-in speakers. You can listen to music, interact with the voice assistant, and even take calls with them. That's pretty handy. All the interaction happens with the touch sensitive areas or the shutter button on the top, or of course, through your voice, talking to them. Let's be honest, they look amazing. And that's uh, one of the main reasons why they were so successful. I actually have two pairs over here. The price is fair too, not too dissimilar to a regular price of premium glasses anyway, but you get more for it. You take photos, you take pictures, you use them as a, you know, a pair of headphones, even if not the highest quality. So yeah, they're a solid lifestyle gadget with uh, very good functionalities. They're also kind of limited though, as you have to rely quite a lot on voice interaction and every information that uh, they give back to you is through voice. So you have to wait for them to explain. If you're in a loud place, uh, they might be hard to hear. But yeah, you can, for example, ask AI to actually recognize a dog breed or uh, you know, translates a menu in front of you through the use of the camera. That's very cool, but it's still just an audio experience. And uh, yeah, the battery life is not the best either. So you have to be careful with how much you're using them. The Even Realities G1, on the other hand, takes a completely different approach as they kept the design and the weight very minimal. No cameras, they might actually be good if you have a privacy concern, new speaker, but instead some cutting edge tech. Interaction still happens via voice in the touch sensitive area on the rakes, but the killer feature is actually a pair of micro OLED displays, one of each eye working in stereo mode tucked inside a super slim frame. In fact, they just look normal. The resolution is 624 by 200 pixels per eye, it's monochrome, but very sharp and readable because of the around 20 degrees F5. 
full V. They also can get up to a thousand nits of brightness, which makes them very usable even in broad daylight, something that many other smart glasses that we tried on the channel actually struggled with. The projection system uses a proprietary HAOS optics offering 98% transparency, so they look just like a regular pair of glasses to anyone around you. Right now, for instance, as I would say, I'm reading the script through the display, uh, but you can still see my eyes, and probably you didn't even know uh, there was a screen between me and you. Imagine using this in a presentation or even in school. Um, not saying that you should cheat, but hey, just probably said that. And even Farmer Lucky will like this guy actually use them in his TED talk. Convenient. So how do you interact with them? How do you use them? Well, you can just look up and the display will show important informations and notification that by the way are completely customizable in software and they have also two microphones. One for your voice and one for the ambient sound to recognize what you're saying and what other people are saying too. One of the coolest features because of that, well, it's actually live translation that is currently supporting over 12 languages. Se qualcuno ti parla nella loro lingua nativa, tu puoi vedere i sottotitoli in tempo reale senza rompere il contatto visivo. Did it work? And that is a huge difference from Meta. They actually just released their live translation as well, which will read the translation out loud. So you have to wait for it. And here you can just like read directly. Both glasses, they have to be connected to your phone via Bluetooth to work, by the way, and to use all their functions. To share the connection, of course, to let the phone use the computing power to avoid too much battery drainage. And about power, while well, the Meta glasses will stay on for like um, some hours and um, not much if you actually use to shoot videos and take a lot of pictures. Uh, they even realities because of their kind of functionalities. They're able to get a full day battery life. That is pretty impressive considering that they have two screens in here. By the way, talking about the screens, the sweet spot uh, is actually very good and large. So you're able to read uh, no problem with it. The text will stay in the upper portion of the glasses. Uh, the text is pretty sharp, as we said, and uh, you get a proper stereoscopic heads up display. In the software, by the way, you can adjust the distance from 50 centimeters to 5 meters and the height of the display if you want it lower or higher. As we said, you look up to see the widgets, uh, like the time, news, or the navigation map. But I do wish they will add a mode where you can just look down and have in the display uh, right there. Even realities, let's make it happen, please. You can even change the angle at which the HUD appears, so it shouldn't be too hard, right? You can also trigger features with the touch on the little handy part of the rakes. Uh, so you can start your teleprompter, you can start your AI assistant, uh, write notes, uh, recognizing your speech, of course. And there's even, as we said, a navigation mode uh, that gives you the direction live. I tried it around the city, it's not perfect, but I was able to get to the restaurant I wanted to go to. So I guess uh, that's a plus. Unfortunately, I don't know if they connect with the Google Maps. Hopefully the support will arrive soon. And for now, it's just for bicycle and walking. So unfortunately, you cannot use it with the car even in an old one. So these glasses lean more into the utilitarian use. Office work, note-taking, uh, keeping everything and your info in your field of view, all without drawing any attention. And by the way, with the AI assistant, you can actually ask questions and get responses on the screen rather than spoken out loud. Let's be honest though, I do miss having a speaker answering calls or listening to music, even at the basic quality will be very nice. But I get it, adding speakers will actually need a bigger battery, um, maybe a beefer processor and also you will lose like the particular part of these glasses that are completely lightweight with this everyday glasses feel. I guess most of people go around with headphones anyway so is there no issue? But a man can dream. So can we compare the Ray-Ban Smart Glasses and the Even Realities G1? To be honest I wish I could combine them and take the best part of both and make the ultimate Smart Glasses. I just took a picture. I think Meta figured out that people want to wear something nice looking. That's why they collaborated with Ray-Ban directly because you don't want to 
look silly while having smart glasses, something usable on your face. And even reality clearly went in the same direction. As you can tell that the focus was to create in something that people will actually want to wear every day with an awesome design, great comfort, and be able to even substitute your prescription glasses for your everyday use. So yeah, this is a little comparison actually made to show you a bit better the difference. Are they both smart glasses? Yes. But having two completely different approaches can get really easy to actually choose. So if you value media and social, that's a smart glasses for you the meta one. But if instead you value note-taking, information at a glance, a more futuristic HUD that feels like uh, the Pip boy for example, for his translation, well, the even G1 is the right for you. So what do you think? Would you go for the meta audio approach or the G1 screen-based utility focus? Here we go. Do you want smart glasses for media content or actually to boost your productivity? Give you a teleprompter, live translation, even navigation. Let me know in the comments below and uh, I'm really curious about your take. As always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, the join button down there. Let on the further. Also, the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons who join the channel, of course. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.